Hello everyone, this is Austin from Nerf FI Core, and today I'm doing an unboxing and review on the Nerf Mega Moto Strike. So the Moto Strike is a semi-automatic blaster in the Mega line that was just released, and it features a 10-round magazine. So this review was originally going to be a Nexus Pro review, but unfortunately my Walmart does not have the Nexus Pro right now. So instead, I'm doing it on the Moto Strike. So let's get it open. Included with the Mega Motor Strike is the blaster itself, a 10 round magazine, 10 mega darts, and the instructions. The Nerf Mega Motor Strike requires 4 C batteries in order to function. Now, to an excellent overview of the Nerf Mega Motor Strike. So, starting in the front, we do not have a bell attachment point. So that makes sense because this is a mega blaster, so it's not going to have that. Up here we have a tactical rail. Unfortunately, it is the only tactical rail on the blaster, but it is still kind of nice that they gave us the one rail. Then up here we have the front iron sight, which corresponds with the rear iron sight. Down here we have this um, foregrip. It's not that comfortable, but it's alright. Then over here we have the jam door, so if you ever have a jam, you just open it up and get your finger in there to clear out any jams. Over here, we have the stock. For me, it's a pretty comfortable stock. It's a pretty good length. And then also, you have the nice flat part here to rest your cheek on. So for me, it's a pretty um, comfortable stock, but that could be different for you. Now, the grip, though, definitely isn't the most comfortable grip, in my opinion. Um, what annoys me is the bar here for the thumb hole stock. It kind of nudges into my palm, and, well, it's really not that comfortable, but it's still all right, I guess. It's just, that kind of annoys me. And over here we have the magwell. Included is this 10 round magazine, which isn't the easiest to get out. So here's the 10 round magazine, and there's the magwell. So yeah, it's not the easiest to get the mag in and out for the magwell. But uh, speaking of mags, I would like to test the compatibility between the Motor Strike and the Centurion. All right, here's the 6 round magazine from the Centurion, and here's the Motor Strike. So I want to see how well the 6 round mag works with the Motor Strike. All right, it seems that it went in pretty smoothly. Now let's fire it. All right, that's great. So the 6 round mag is working perfectly fine with the Motor Strike. Now let's see how well the 10 round magazine that came with the Motor Strike works with the Centurion. All right, here's the 10-round magazine, and here is the Centurion. So now let's see how well the 10-round magazine works with the Centurion. All right, once again, it went in pretty smoothly. And now let's fire it. All right, that is awesome. So the 10-round magazine is compatible with the Centurion, and the 6-round magazine is compatible with the Motor Strike. That means that both of these mags are cross-compatible, which is awesome. Thank you, Hasbro, for doing that. Like, thank you for continuing the same Mega Magazine system, because if they had, like, made some sort of new magazine system for the Mega Darts, that just would not have been very good. So thank you, Hasbro, for making these magazines cross-compatible. That's it for the external overview. Now let's see what this thing can do on the firing range. Now to my final opinion on the Nerf Mega Moto Strike. The ergonomics are perfect, but the performance does seem to be pretty good. And I just love that they actually kept the same magazine system that the Centurion used. This could potentially mean that Hasbro is planning on releasing more blasters with Mega Magazines. So overall, I would recommend buying the Nerf Mega Moto Strike. And that concludes my unboxing interview on the Nerf Mega Moto Strike. Thank you very much for watching, and see you in the next video.